everybody. Um, welcome to day one of your booty challenge. So, like I said, my life, you're going to get three workouts and then I'm going to record trigger sessions. You can do them either at the end of each workout or you can do a full body, a trigger session the next day, leg day, a trigger session, and then full body. However it works best for you. Um, the focus trigger sessions are the ones we're going to work on our glutes to build the connection to our glutes. We're going to prioritize our glutes during the entire workout, but it's going to be obviously some full body. Again, this is all beginners, so this workout may take a little longer than the other ones because I'm going to explain everything for beginners. Now, if you're advanced, ignore my talk, grab your weight, you know what you're doing, all right? So let's start with warming up. Um, it'll be the same warm up for the next three weeks. That's what I do with all my clients. And so let's start. Oh, um, you'll need dumbbell. You will need a band, like an ankle band. Or did I put mine? Right here. You'll need one of those bands. Um, grab water, dumbbell, and a mat. That's all you will need for the day. Uh, and then you'll have a trigger session at the end of this, or you can save it up for tomorrow. Sounds cool? Cool. All right, start this money off strong. Let's do it. Start with warm up. All right, so the way I do my warm up, I start with guesses. Full range. I usually do five rounds. If you want to do more, you can. Now we're going to do nose. Four. Three. Two. Last one, shoulder circles. Three, two, one, full range. Four, three, two, one, and the other way. Gotta warm it up, gotta move. I always listen to rock, to something. Um, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. But it keeps me going. <laughs> All right, hands on your chest. Brace that core. Now, beginners, when I say that, brace that core, you're engaging it while you're standing. Nobody can poke you. So that's what I mean when I engage your core. Hands on your chest, have circles. This is all abs. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Your next one, beginners. You're going to squeeze your shoulder blades in the back, roll them through the front, walk, roll down your spine, squeeze your butt, come back up. Advance. Roll down your spine, walk it out to a plank, bring one foot to front, world's greatest stretch, two, one, hand down, foot back, switch sides. Two, one, again. Keep your hips nice and straight. Last one on the other side. Hand down to the back, keep your legs straight. Roll up your spine. Woo. Opening up our hips. Let's go. Down and back in. Five. Keep your hips nice and straight. Two. Three. Four. Last one. Now dorsiflexion. Angle circles. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The other way. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. Open it up. Down. Bring it back in. Good job. I know it's balance work. We gotta open up the hips. Prime our glutes, getting ready for building them. Nice back burning glutes. One more. And dorses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other way. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. All right, that was your warm up. You ready? Yeah? Alright, so grab that band. Several band walks. 
I'll set my timer. So you're going to put the band around your ankles. You're going to need room because you're going to walk front to back. We're going to do it for a minute. All right. Three, two, one. Let's go. Big steps. You're going to keep tension on that band the entire time. Okay? Keep that tension. Never let go of that tension. We're going to do it for a minute. Big old steps. What band you use, it's completely up to you and your strength. Right now we're prying in the glutes. So the reason I've done a glute challenge instead of a just beginner strength challenge is because a lot of beginners, including myself back in the day, we have weak glutes. We do not feel our glutes. We're more quad dominant. 20 more seconds. So we need to really work on that muscle connection. You might the muscle connection. You got eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Stay right here. <clears throat> We're going side by side. We're going to stay upright. Proud chest, shoulders back and down. Two, one, let's go side by side. Keep your feet parallel from each other. As soon as you come out, you're not going to feel any glutes. So keep parallel from each other. All right, and back. And this is the one that is brutal. And if you don't feel any glute medius, she's right here. Ha! Ah, I don't know what to tell you. We are 30 seconds in, and I can already feel it. I'm using a heavy band too. Keep my feet parallel from each other. Oh, fuck. Now, mind you, I already did a workout this morning. Come on. 15 more seconds. Push through it. Push through it. I know. I know. I know. I feel it. 10 more seconds. Come on. Oh, keep fighting it. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Holy guacamole. <laughs> that was bad. All right, on the ground. We're gonna start off hip thrust, glute bridge, without the weight. So you can take this band, put it above your knees. Because again, this is beginners. If you're advanced, grab that bar, load it up. We're going on the ground, because chances are you're at home. In a couple weeks, we'll upgrade it to the bench. All right, so feet, turn the length away from you. Keep that tension on that band. We're gonna do, we're gonna try for three rounds of 20. All right, three, two, one. So you come up here, squeeze your butt, come back down. Up, squeeze down. Up, down. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, squeeze that butt, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Now, if you write all these exercises down and you want to continue on doing these exercises, I recommend you take up to a two to three minute rest. Uh, your body needs time to rebuild the energy system inside of it. It's called your ATP system. Um, obviously, in a group class, I can't do it because my clients don't pay me to rest and chit chat. Neither. That's anybody else. But if you're doing it on your time, try to take a two-minute rest at least. When I do personal one-on-one -on -one training, we at least do a minute rest. I don't care. A minute 30 if I have to. Makes me no difference. I've got to rest. Ready for round two? And neither am I. My butt's on fire. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. 
20, 19. Squeeze the glutes, pretend you have a quarter. Between your butt cheeks, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, No matter how sore you are, no matter how tired you are, you can do it. 14, 13, 12, 11. Think about the gains. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, ah, last one. Rock and roll up, take the band off. No more bands. <laughs> so, there's your, the prime of your glutes. All right, start working. You grab your dumbbells. We're going to do two rounds of 12 squats. You're going to have your dumbbells right here on the side. You can bring your dumbbells up here. Whatever you choose, completely fine. So grab your dumbbells. Now let me tell you an advanced tip, okay? If we're beginners, again, this is all for beginners. If you find yourself squatting and your knees are caving in, grab the band, keep that tension on that band. If you think it's not, so knees are just hinged they only have one movement. So if you have knee issues, it's probably ankles or hip related, unless you had a previous injury. You can either put the band above your knee or you can put it above your ankle. The ankle is what I prefer because it really makes you stretch your foot out and work on that ankle balance and stability joints in your ankles. Like that you can really squat, all right? I'll keep my band on, it doesn't count. So we're gonna do two rounds of 12. Keep tension on that band. The way your toes is pointing is completely up to your bone structure. Bring your weight up or to the side, whatever you choose. Two rounds of 12. Three, two, one, let's go. Sit back. So when we squat, we sit back. 12, 11, 10, nine. Squeeze on the top, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, last one, and rest. Yeah, everybody's so good. Eventually, we'll pick it up a notch in a couple weeks. I want to offer. Uh, more challenges like this for every fitness level there is. Fitness, uh, intermediate, beginners, advanced. But I thought I'd start with beginners. A lot of people haven't been to a gym lately. A lot of people are just starting. And there's your minute break. 
Let's start round two. Maybe we can do like a all cardio, which I really don't want to do. I don't want to do cardio. But I'm willing to do All right, tension on that band. Three, proud chest, shoulders back and down, brace that core. Two, one, let's go. Sit back. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, no more squats. Take your band off. So your next one's walking lunches. You're completely new. You never, you never done any lunches ever in your life before. I want you to do back, a back lunch. I'll show you here in a minute. Sorry, she got untangled. So if you're brand new, a lunch, back lunch, 90 degrees. The reason we're not doing a front lunch for beginners is because it's harder on your knees. And we're trying to work on our glutes anyway. The front one's more quad dominant to where the back one is more glute dominant. All right, make sure your legs are 90-90. Shoulders back and down. So this is what you're gonna do if you're complete beginners. All right? Everyone else who's done lunges before, it's not a complete beginner, take advantage of the room. Let's do walking lunges, okay? I'm gonna get right down. We're gonna do 20, one round. 20 all together, not 20 aside. Okay? So shoulders back and down, proud chest. Three, two, one, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, what's up? Eight, seven, six, five, almost there. Four, three, two, rest. Walking lunch is done. All right. Let's do one more leg. Move on to the upper body. Sounds good? All right. I'm going to leave the weight out. You can grab the weight. You want to do narrow, wide, narrow, wide, narrow, wide. Just finish it off. Ready? 12, two rounds of 12. Three, two, each side. One, let's go. Narrow, wide. Narrow, 10. Come on, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, my butt! <laughs> Rest. So instead of the second run, do two rounds of 12. Wide and narrow, let's do one round of squat. No weight for my beginners. If you're advanced, grab the weight. We're gonna slow down the tempo. And we're only doing six, okay? For squatting, you can listen to my tempo, take that tempo under, brace that core. Ready? Just to finish it off, and then we'll move on to your other body. So we're gonna sit back, and you're doing six squats. Three, Two, one, let's go. Four, three, two, one, hold it. Two, one, come up. When you come up, make sure you squeeze that butt. All right, let it begin. Four, three, two, one, hold. Two, one, squeeze, up. Ready, let's go. Four, three, two, one, hold. Two, one, up. And again, four, three, two, one. One, hold, two, one, up. Nine more, four, three, two, one, hold, two, one, up. Nine more, four, three, two, one, hold, two, one, up. Nine more, four, three, two, one, hold, two, one, up. Nine more, four, three, two, one, hold, two, one, up. Nine more, four
two, one, hold, two, one, up, almost there, ready for one more, last one, four, three, two, one, hold it, five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, squeeze up, there you go, legs are done, butt should be nice and activated, nice and tight, let's do three upper body, move on, done, one class, lasted 30 minutes, sounds good, first class done, I want you guys to do the trigger session either at the end, or save it tomorrow, we're going to pick it up a notch, so again, just a reminder, this is for beginners, you advanced people can run this twice, all right, two times more weight, Whew. so walking lunge is done, so let's work on our, let's do some shrugs, yeah, so grab your weight, we're going to have posterior chain. When we do shrugs, you're going to roll that shoulder back and down. You're going to tuck that pelvic under. We don't want no arch. Just tuck it in. All right? Three, two, two rounds of 15. One, let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and rest. I need to turn the fan on, it's getting hot. <laughs> How's everybody holding up so far? Are you guys doing all right? Yeah? Should be sweating. Should not be easy. Like I said, we want to offer more challenge to make it more harder. But it's a good start for anybody who just started. And show them that they don't have to spend hours and hours and hours in the gym doing hours of cardio. There's no need of that. Build the mind muscle connection to your muscles. Let's build some muscles and shred body fat like that. You can eat so much more food if you build that nice lean muscle mass. So much more food. Ready? Round two. Shoulders back and down. Three, two, one. Let's go. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and rest. Let's do some biceps. Shoulder press, finish on, abs and be done. Yeah, cool. So let's do some bicep curls. Two rounds. Ready? Again, tuck that pelvic under. Do not arch your back. Don't do it. Three, two, one, let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Maybe it's because I had class this morning already. And I teach local, but I'm tired. <laughs> this is kicking my butt. So I'm assuming you beginners are having a hard time too, I'm hoping. If this was all too easy, Wednesday when you do this workout, or we do this workout, or maybe Friday, uh, whatever day you choose, whatever day you do this on, up your weight. Round two. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna knock it out. Ready? Three, two. One, let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 1, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
press next. Two rounds. Grab a drink. Yeah. If you don't have to, don't drink. Shoulder press, we're not arching. And doing a shoulder press, just get the weight up. You're going to tuck it in. If you have to, use your legs to help you bring that weight up. All right? Do not arch. And engage that core. Remember what I told you guys, nobody can poke you. Tuck it under, nobody can poke you. Let's flip it, do this. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Twelve. Eleven. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. In my class this morning, we done like a unilateral full body thing. When we done grow, Come up, hammer, shoulder press. So, I used to have your weight than I am right now, but whoo, shoulders gonna fall off. <laughs> okay, for round two. We're almost there. We're gonna make short and easy, but we're gonna progress steadily, okay? This is day one. We're gonna progress. This was an advanced challenge with advanced. Fitness athletes, you go a little different. Three, two, one, let's go. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, come on, you can do it. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Alright, we're done with full body. So let's do some abs. We're going to do a nice inner ab exercise. Nothing advanced. We're going to do three rounds of it. Then we'll stop. Okay? Can you see me? Yes, you can. Alright, beginner style. Hands up, ceiling reaches. So we're gonna roll through our spine and come up. Not flat back, roll through your spine. So, I'll explain it. A lot of people, when they do ab exercises, they will feel it right here in their hip flexors. It's because they're not using abs. They're using hip flexors to come up. You have to think about a crunch. So a lot of people will hinge from their hips to do a crunch, like David did. This is how they're crunching, pinching from their hips. Where in all reality, you need to use your spine and crunch. So that's what you're doing on the floor. You need to crunch, not hip pinch. Two different moves. Crunch, all right? So roll through your spine. Ready? Three rounds. Let's do two rounds. Let's do two, I'm not trying to kill you guys. If you want to do three, it's your call. Three, two, one, let's go. 20, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, ten more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and rest. Round one done. Can you guess 30 second rest? We'll do it again. We're in 29 minutes.
Ready? Round two. Three, two, one. Let's go. 20, 19, 18, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, all right, done. Rock and roll up. Let's stretch. If you want to do the trigger session, your bonus after this, quit, go over, click on bonus trigger session, and do this following. Now, do your stretch later. So let's start with quads. Push your knees and hips down to the ground. Hold on to some if you have to. Good one. 